Hello and welcome to the Pecan Planner video tutorial on cameras. Properly setting cameras will give you an overview of your plan as well as lay the groundwork for impressive presentations and photorealistic renderings. In this tutorial we will learn how to place cameras as well as set their parameters. The camera menu for setting and editing cameras within your plan can be found under the View tab. If you want to quickly set a camera in an active viewport, select the camera icon in the drop-down menu and choose Camera from View. This will automatically set a camera and numerically add it to your sequence of cameras. You can then access it at any time from the drop-down menu or in the viewport controls of a specific viewport. By clicking on the camera icon itself, you can manually place a camera. The first click in your plan will set a point of origin for the camera. A second click will then define its viewing angle and aperture angle. When placing objects, we recommend working in a 2D view such as front or left in order to precisely place the point within the room. You can also find the camera tool by right-clicking within a viewport. If you don't want to see the cameras in your plan, you can hide and unhide them by selecting Visibility in the Start tab. We can now change the parameters of the camera by adjusting the handles using a click and drop. You can also provide the exact parameter values you would like using the Properties Editor. The eye height defines the height of the camera origin, and the target height is the vertical angle in relation to the eye height. The opening angle is equivalent to the focal length of a camera, therefore referring to the zoom. To move the camera's point of origin independently from the target point, click on the point directly on the camera and move your mouse. Clicking again will indicate the new point of origin. You can move the target point the same way, by clicking on the tip of the outward pointing arrow from the camera. Note that by doing so, both the viewing angle and the aperture angle will change. If you want to move the camera without changing these angles, click on the highlighted center of the outward pointing arrow and then move the camera as previously shown. Lastly, you can separately adjust the aperture angle by clicking and moving the box at the end of the arrow. This corresponds to the zoom. Give the cameras a try yourself in Pecan Planner, or take a look at some of our other basic tutorials and videos focusing on specific functions and tricks. Have fun planning and experimenting!